Top tier greetings from Wise Waters. I'm glad that you could join me again. Here we are at the Grand Coulee Dam, taking in some lessons, trying to convey them, putting it into perspective so that we can harness the information. What is a dam? Why do we build dams? Well, we know being humans comprised mostly of water. Water is life. We know that we can only go a very short time living without water. It's called dehydration, right? It's important that we continue to stay hydrated, especially with this sun beaming down on us. Summertime now, you guys be wise. Eat your hydrating fruits, luscious grapes, and strawberries, mangoes, pineapples, and then drink good, clean water. Go visit an artesian well. This Grand Coulee Dam, why do we build dams? Well, we understand that there are properties that need water so that those properties can grow food. Those crops need to be irrigated, right? Irrigation is uh, thousands of years old now, okay? Uh, the, the ability for humans to farm, right? The ability to make waterways uh, and ways for water to travel to crops. Now, we're aware that on Earth, <clears throat> seasons change, and even when seasons come about, those seasons can be quite different than what uh, are previously recorded or what our ancestors or the generations that came previous to us have said would be occurring in said season. We've seen different ages, such as the Ice Age, where even summer was full of ice, uh, even summer was full of blizzards. And we are also aware that during a summer uh, and a spring and even an autumn that there can be severe droughts right so the human solution to a drought is a dam it's a reservoir what are we going to do with the example of a reservoir well if we are going to be taking examples from water want to understand that when we channel our energy, when we channel our flow, we do not want to channel each and every ounce of that energy. When we have a care for our craft and we are making sure that we are harnessing the power from the lane surrounding our area of expertise, from our profession, it builds up in us a desire to want to put everything out in order to or, or a desire to exert ourselves to the fullest extent but we have to understand that we have to address what that hundred percent is we, we have to put some of that energy like this water in a reserve right just in case a drought comes about whether that be socially psychologically emotionally spiritually physically all of those elements we have to save up a bit of our currency remember current it's the flow of energy currency we have to harness some of that so what i suggest you do is to take the 100% that you are capable of, that 100% that you find is your full potential, and I want you to save 15% of it, right? So now your 85%, that's your new 100%, right? You're leaving this right here, this here. This is your 15% reserve. Everything else is flowing out into your tasks, into your life, into your social life, into your spiritual life, into your physical development, the way that you nourish yourself, the way that you surround yourself. That's all being channeled to the external world. The 15% isn't even being channeled to your internal self. It's lying as dormant, latent energy. And only in an emergency situation should we be tapping into that because we should be able to run like a finely finely tuned 
superhuman, super sapien off of that 85%. That is the wisdom of water. That is the wisdom of what we do with water. Now what you do with this wisdom is up to you. But I believe, and I know you feel it as well, that if you can apply it with speed and a purified intention, you will truly be a completely transformed individual. Now our time here is finished. But as water flows, so shall you. I hope your path is upward. Love your skin and what's within. Peace.